Tanya, thanks for your time this morning. Um, so Michael Danby, the former Labor MP, was on with Laura yesterday and he said that Kimberly Kitching's family would like her treatment to be addressed and an apology given. Should the party apologise to her? Look, I'm, I'm just not going to get into this. We haven't even had Kimberly Kitching's funeral yet. Uh, I, I don't think it's appropriate to be making this into a political issue. I absolutely want to respect the wishes of her family, um, but I, 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 I just can't answer for the details of this, and nor do I want to be talking about it at the moment. Uh, we have lost a colleague way too young, way too early. I think mm. we need to um, focus on that at the moment. and give her family a bit of time and space. So why not... Uh, I also... Sorry. Um, go on. No, no, so, so with that point in mind, why not investigate that loss then, considering that Kimberly Kitching wanted it sorted before she died following these allegations of bullying? Yeah. Look, I, I just don't know uh, any of the details of that. Um, and uh, I have to say, we are uh, absolutely you know, devastated to have lost a colleague um, too young to this. We do want to absolutely respect the wishes of her family and support her husband uh, in any way that we can, uh, support her friends in any way that we can. Um, I, I think this is a just a terrible loss that it's going to take us some time to work through. It, it is. It is, no doubt about that. Did you ever see any evidence of her being bullied? No, it, it was not. It was n nothing I saw, absolutely not. And, um, look, I, I just don't want to... I, I just don't want to keep raking over um, this terrible loss and treating it like it's just a political issue to manage. I think we, we need to focus on supporting her family. She is a great loss. Um, I think, you know, it's a mm. terrible time for anybody who knew her. Uh, but... The, the sort of things that um, we need to be focusing on now is talking to the Australian people about the things that matter to them, uh, their job security, cost of living, the situation in Ukraine, the things that are um, going to be um, the, the, big, the big issues in their lives in coming oh. months. And certainly... Yeah. Yesterday I was in Queensland, I was visiting schools, visiting TAFE facilities, visiting women's centres that work with victims of domestic violence. Pe people weren't asking about whether there's bullying in the Labor Party, they were asking about whether their kids are going to have a decent school, a job at the end of it, whether they're going to have the support services they need if they're victims of domestic violence, trying to leave a violent relationship. Yeah. I think it's important for people in... Uh, in the Labor Party and in politics more generally to be focusing on those issues going forward rather yep. than, um, yep. you know, tr trying to determine uh, what... You know, it, it is impossible for me to know the relationships between colleagues like that at this stage. There is one incident, though, that's been highlighted in The Australian this morning by Shari Markson. So Penny Wong reportedly told Kimberly Kitching that if you had children, you'd understand why there is a climate emergency when discussing school students taking part in climate protests. Was that a fair thing to say to someone who actually wanted children but couldn't Look, have them? I, I, I don't know any of the details of that. I, it, you can't just keep putting suggestions uh, to me about who said what to whom. I'm telling you that this is not the time to be uh, focused on trying to make this into a, a political issue. Of course we should support her family and her friends in getting any answers they can, um, but we also need to be respectful of people's privacy at a very difficult time.